I'd put the Browns four, mostly just because of lack of picks. I'd put Baltimore three, Pittsburgh two, Cincinnati one. Interesting. I have the Browns three. Well, I'll go in order. I have the Bengals fourth. I have the Browns third. Really? I, I have the Steelers second and the Ravens one. Just because I think the Ravens got a lot of good talent late. I think the Ravens, they started off obviously with a great one in Nate Wiggins. I hate that they got him. But TJ Tampa in the fourth round, Tez Walker in the fourth round, that's insane. Uh, Isaac from Penn State I think is a really good get. He's not Chop Robinson, but that's a really good get. Um, yeah, I, I think the Ravens had a really good draft. I think they, they, had, they had a good draft. They had a respectable draft, I would say. Can we get the Steelers and Bengals ones up there, please? So, right there is what makes the Bengals draft for me. is Mims and Jermaine Burton. I think that kind of was – that's what stands out to me. McKinley Jackson's going to be good. Cedric Johnson could make some noise for them. Tanner McLaughlin, good pick, but – I think it's that 18th and 80th selection that kind of makes the Bengals draft. Because in, in terms of needs, that's why I have the Bengals first, because they're finally addressing the offensive line. Otherwise, you know, Joe Burrow is going to get killed. Well, my thing is I don't know what they want Mims to play, because Mims had limited snaps at offensive tackle. When he did play, it was great. I'll give you that. But the dude barely played at the tackle position. The Browns, Bengals, already allegedly have their two tackles. That's what they believe. So, unless they plan on him sitting and learning, which certainly could be the case, um, I I don't know if they view him at guard. I don't. I don't know. It, it was an interesting pick. I thought, especially because they need they need secondary help and that's my biggest problem with yeah. their draft. They didn't draft anybody in the secondary until it looks like 149. Yeah, Josh, Josh Newton, Newton at 149. I love Jermaine Burton. I think he's going to be a great replacement for Tyler Boyd. But um aside from that, I'm not blown away. I I'm not blown away. Um had they have gotten a Let's just throw out a name of Tron Arnold instead of Mims. I would be like, man, they okay. They got some talent. But, you know, it is what it is. Throw up the Steelers one, though, yeah. while we're at it. Um, They had a good draft. Roman Wilson, Peyton Wilson in the uh, third rounds, both, are absolute steals. Um. Tony, the thing for me with Pittsburgh, why I have them second, is not that they didn't have a good draft. It's just uh, when it comes to immediate impact, Fatanu, Frazier, I think are immediate starters. And McCormick could contend to start. My problem is you, you want all these rookies starting against Miles Garrett, Zadarius Smith, Delvin Tomlinson, uh, the Ravens' defensive line, the Bengals, whatever's left of their defensive line. I believe I also had the Steelers at two, if I remember correctly. I don't know. It, it just it concerns me because this is another team that I thought was going to go secondary, and I'm glad they didn't. But, you know, they go on the offensive line. So be it. So, so. speaking of the AFC North, is the AFC North the best division in the NFL? Um, I think it, I think it is. I think that, let's see, what is it? The NFC North is contending. I think, uh, the bears having the off season, they've had the lions already good team continuing to build. The Packers are a really, they, I thought they had a really good draft. They did. Um, you know, Minnesota is kind of a question mark because it all comes down to what happens at quarterback. So, if that works out for them, that division will be insane. Um, but aside from that, you look at it, the AFC West isn't what it used to be. So I, I can't really think of anybody. 
to be what honest. About the NFC, NFC East, I mean, there's potential there. I mean, Cowboys, the, Eagles, the Giants. I, I, I don't know. I think that division is just a- going to be what it AFC is. AFC South, you got the Jags, the Texans. Uh, good Colts team if Anthony Richardson stays healthy. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think the North the North is the North. I mean, there's nothing like it in the NFL.